G'day mate, 40 here. Look at this lovely wedding cake cliff. So, hanging out in Royal National Park, just, uh, just south of Cronulla, where you had the Cronulla riots about 15 years ago. And uh, just thinking that uh, you get much more of fatalism in Australia compared to America. So you're much more likely to encounter the idea, oh, you can't do anything about it. Might as well just enjoy yourself. Have a good time. All right, that's it's much more prevalent attitude in, in Australia than America. Than America. So, you know, Australia was founded by convicts, all right? They were sent out here against their will. And then they never had to fight for their freedom like the Yanks, right? So the Americans had the, you know, the Revolutionary War had to fight for their freedom and uh, for Australians it was you know given to them by the British Commonwealth and so I noticed that uh, Australians and also the English are much more fatalistic and uh, Americans uh, you know, have much you know, higher estimation about what they can do right their own capabilities of like changing the government so I, I don't think like a January 6th would happen nearly as easily in Australia as America because January 6 was, was based on the notion that you know ordinary citizens could get together and do something about a system gone insane and there could be a new American revolution and there just isn't that same revolutionary zeal in Australia so much more fatalistic and you see it in the movies and the telly so Australian and British TV much more fatalistic. Uh, fatalism isn't really an American trait. It's much more of a sense that yeah, we can do something about it. You know, we just organize together and we can remake the system. We can change the facts on the ground. We can take down the people in power.